Hello there everyone, if you guys are making your own server right now or have joined other servers in the past, you know that when you're joining a new server for new players, it is very important for them to be able to understand your server and sort of have a tutorial and some of the key features that make your server unique and stand out. So that is what today's plugin is going to be on Server Tutorial Plus, and this is an automated system that guides players around different checkpoints around your server and gives them specific text, it sends sounds, messages, uh, you can even give rewards after them completing the tutorial which is a pretty cool incentive but this is a fantastic free plugin working on a versions 1.9 at 2.1.16 so really really cool stuff so let me go ahead and show you guys how to get this set up so we have this really nice build right here from odyssey builds i will leave this link down in the description you can also use a striker 10 to save 10 percent off your builds from the odyssey shop so make sure you guys go take advantage of that if you want some pretty cool builds so we got a nice little spawn right here. Uh, I just wanted a small simple spawn right here. So getting started we can do the main command which is slash st and I will show you your main help menu. There's a lot of commands in here. I'm going to try to sort of go in order of how these commands all fit together. So let's go ahead and start by creating a new server tutorial. So we can do st create and then now we need the specific id. So I'm just going to call this uh, welcome. Okay so we'll call this welcome. So you can pretty much name the id whatever you want. It is going to be the ID that you're going to be using it to add points and everything down the line. So now that we successfully created one, we can go ahead and find a point that we want to have the player teleport to. So for example, here is the crate system right here. So we want to, the players to be able to teleport to this specific area and you can have it in the air, which is pretty cool as well. So this is where we're going to be adding our first point right here, right above the crate. So they look pretty good. So we can do ST and then add point and then if you go ahead and enter that that will show you your syntax for adding the points so the id is going to be what we have stated at the beginning so this would be welcome so that is our welcome tutorial so that is the id that we need now we can set this to be a timed checkpoint click block or a command typically you'll be just using the time and basically this is going to be setting a, a timed section where players will teleport here be here for a few seconds and then they'll teleport to your next next point. The checkpoint is going to be used if you're going to be walking in to the specific area and then a click block is going to be executed if once you click a specific block. So we're going to just do timed for this one. So we'll do, just do timed and there we go. Now we have added the time point. So say we want to go all the way up here, uh, just, uh, we'll, we'll just like be on this specific island right up here and we'll look down at the spawn because it is a pretty cool build. So now we can just pretty much do the same thing. We're just going to be adding another point. So we added our second point right there. So make sure you remember where your points are actually going to be added. And then we'll go right over here. Say we have uh, the custom, custom enchants or something right here. So we'll go ahead and add a new point. So that is our third point right there. And then uh, say uh, we'll go up here to to uh, these really cool clouds and then we'll just do like an overview of the spawn just like there. And then at the last one, I want them to be teleported back to spawn where they started. So I'm gonna head and do the last one right here. So the fifth one is gonna be the very last location. So now we can go ahead and start editing the points. So you can edit settings of the specific tutorial or the points, and we're gonna be editing the points for each one. So we'll do ST edit point, and then now we need to do the specific ID and then the point, okay? So we'll do edit point, and then welcome is gonna be our server tutorial ID. Let's so we'll go ahead and put it in there. And then now we can do a point one. So this is going to be this uh, first point that we have right here. So now we can set the time how long uh, the player is going to be here. We can edit the location if you wanted to switch it to the other side. If we want to be able to have a uh, lock view so they only see the chest or send messages commands. So there's a ton of amazing things in here. And I'm just want to show you the basics. And then you can play with all the settings on your own server. So now I'm going to head and do the at a point, welcome, and then one. So I'm going to head and set the time. We'll do the time to six seconds. So, so now we can go ahead and set the fly. So the fly basically indicates that you're going to be uh, in the air. So we can go ahead and set fly, and then we'll go ahead and set to true. All right. So we'll go ahead and set that to true, basically indicating that they're going to be in the air. So and then we can lock the player in this specific area. So I'm going to set this lock player, and then we'll do a lock player, and we'll also set that to true. So now we'll go ahead and set that lock player. So that will lock them in this location and it will keep them flying in midair. If you don't have it set uh, to that, then they'll basically fall down. So you don't want them to fall down. 
and then if you want to lock the view, we'll do the lock view for the next one, uh, and then we'll do the messages and commands. So we can go ahead and actually send a message now. So we'll do messages, and then we can go ahead and add the messages. So we'll do add, and we'll say, we'll say buy your crate keys at uh, store.striker.com, all right? So that will send a message to them, and then you can add as many messages as you want, which is really nice. And then I also like to add a sound, and then you can also add like fireworks, which is pretty cool. So we'll probably do that at the very end. And we'll leave the sound names to all down below. So I went ahead and set this block course flower growth, and then now we can set the, the volume. So we're gonna set that to five, and then the pitch is gonna be zero. And there we go, and now we have set the sound. So next one I like to add is gonna be the title. So we can add titles and subtitles. So we'll do title, and then title again, and then now we need to input the specific title. So we'll just say um, crates, all right? So that is the title. Now we can go ahead and add a subtitle real quick, and then we'll say say, uh, use keys here, all right? So we'll go ahead and say that, and then we can also indicate a specific uh, fade in and fade out, and uh, we can go ahead and set that. So now we can actually indicate a fade in time. So we'll do fade in, and we'll set that to one, and then uh, we'll stay on screen for about uh, six seconds, because that's how long we're gonna stay here. And then fade out, we're not even gonna change. So now we can actually test that specific point out. So we can do ST play point. So now we need the ID of the specific one that we made. So this would be welcome, and then this would be the first point. So as you see, there we go, we got the, the title on screen, and it says buy your crate keys at store.strugger.com, and there we go. As you see, we are perfect. So now if we go into GM0 real quick, I'll show you guys, if we go ahead and uh, test out that again, the title does stay there, which is perfect, and it that's actually pretty good. That that uh, was a pretty good timing right there. So that is how you do the specific points. Now let's go and fly up here, because uh, this would be our second tutorial point. If you guys enjoy these type of plugins, be sure you check out the Sangata Marketplace. That is today's video sponsor. They have loads of custom and amazing plugins, both free and premium. So make sure you guys go check them out down below and in the description. So I'm not going to go and edit every single point just because it's pretty much the same thing over each type of point. So I just want to give you guys one core example. And then now I want to show you guys how to set up an NPC where you guys can click it and we'll start the tutorial. So say we want the NPC to be uh, sort of right here. So what we can do, we can look uh, in this direction and we can do ST and PC. And so you don't need any other uh, uh, dependencies for this plugin. So this is all included with the plugin, which is pretty cool. If you do want to use normal citizens, you can do that as well. Um, but this is just going to be using the built in uh, NPC right here. So we can go ahead and do add. So now we can add the specific ID and to the specific tutorial and then select the type of entity. So now we can go ahead and call this uh, NPC. I'm just going to call this test. Now we need the the serval tutorial ID, which is gonna be welcome. And then now we can go ahead and add specific entities. So say if we do like S or something, here it gives you the list of entities that you can use. So so I want this one to be a blaze because that is actually pretty cool. So we can go ahead and put a blaze right here, just like so. And as you see, his name is on the bottom. So we will have to move that up. So to change that, we're gonna be using the height argument. So we can do the ST NPC height. And then now we can go ahead and specify the specific ID as well as how high we want it. So this is going to be a test, which is the NPC ID, not the tutorial one. And then now we can go ahead and bump that up about two blocks. And that's perfect, actually. So you can actually use like decimal points in here as well. So if you want like 2.2, as you see, that does go up just a little bit higher. So now if we go ahead and right click on him, as you see, he does start the tutorial. Here is our titles. Here is our specific messages. And it should just go ahead and uh, put us in the specific uh, points that we had. So there we go, guys, as you see. And then it teleports us back right here, right to the very beginning. And there we go, guys, we have completed our tutorial. And there we go, now you have a working tutorial for your server, and you can teleport to like other worlds, you can teleport to like bases or skyblock islands, really, really cool stuff. There's a uh, tons of possibilities that you can do with this plugin. So I just wanted to show you guys how to get this set up and working for your server. So hope you guys did enjoy, let me know if you have any questions down below. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.